The trade calls it single usage plastic ware. But that is just industry speak for throwaway plastic dishes. Plastic plates, bowls, drinkware and cutlery come in many styles and colours. So for your next party, you can go for the recycled option, even for your champagne flutes. Factories make cutlery by injecting plastic into moulds. However, they make cups, plates and bowls using a different process, called thermoforming. Before the forming phase can begin, an automated system loads polystyrene pellets into a machine called an extruder. The extruder heats the pellets until they melt. Then it forces the molten plastic through a die to shape a hard plastic sheet about two millimeters thick. The factory uses molds to form this continuous sheet into plastic cups. First the sheet passes through a three meter long oven that heats the hard plastic until it becomes malleable. Then it enters the thermoforming machine, which simultaneously pushes and vacuums the sheet into the mold cavities, forming row after row of cups. The entire process takes just three seconds. The cups then travel to the trimmer, which uses a die to cut them off the sheet. The machine grinds up the leftover plastic and remelts it into new sheets, so there's no loss of material whatsoever. The trimmer feeds the cups directly to a machine that stacks them, then feeds them to a conveyor belt in one long line. The conveyor transports them to a machine called the lip roller, which reheats the cups just enough to make the plastic flexible. Then, seen here in slow motion, it folds the rim over, forming a rounded lip. This factory also makes cutlery from melted polystyrene pellets, as well as from polypropylene, a lighter, more flexible and less expensive type of plastic. The cutlery moulds consist of two halves. You can see the difference in this fork mould. In one half, the utensil cavities are the right side up, the fork prongs indented. In the other half, the cavities are upside down, the fork prongs raised. A plastic injection machine melts the pellets and injects the molten plastic into the mould. A built-in cooling system solidifies the form in about 10 seconds. The extracted cutlery drops to a conveyor belt that leads directly to the automated packaging equipment. For certain customers, such as fast food restaurants, the factory packages utensils individually. The automated wrapping machine cuts polythene film to size, heat sealing the ends. This factory also uses polypropylene pellets to make straws. The black beads are pigments to colour the plastic. An extruder, a different one this time, melts the pellets, then forces the molten plastic through a circle-shaped die. As the long continuous straw leaves the extruder, it cools and hardens in a tank of chilled water. The giant straw is then cut with a knife into individual straws. They fall onto a conveyor belt, which transports them to the packaging line. Just like the forks, these straws will also be individually wrapped, but in paper, not plastic film. The wrapper machine feeds them one by one into a paper sleeve. Gears mesh the edges together, creating a crimped seal. The dies on this machine turn ordinary straws into flexible ones by forming a corrugated section that allows for bending at the top of the straw. The machine compresses the corrugation to preserve the shape. This factory can print customised designs in up to six colours applied simultaneously. Ultraviolet lamps built into the printing press dry the ink instantly. That's that. But there's an important thing to remember. Never overfill a plastic plate at a party, as it could prove to be embarrassing. <laughs>